Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm where we do things differently. This week though we're going to do something which could be dangerous to pets and small children so please exercise caution because I smell a rat. We've tried a, a variety of the traditional rat traps of all materials. We've tried uh, fruit baits, peanut butter, walnuts, cheese, everything. But the little buggers just won't go near the trap. So I decided to make something that they don't actually have to take the bait. All they have to do is wander into the proximity of it. And what I came up with is this glorious contrivance which is a fusion between the traditional Paiute deadfall trap and, um, well, some modern electronics. The basics of it in this edition here are a notched stick and a, uh, a lever which holds up the deadfall. The long stick is held in place by a piece of string which connects to a hobby servo motor. In there is a sensor, just let me check it's all turned off, and when anything comes uh, in range of the proximity sensor, just what I bought from JCAR, um, it, the little uh, Arduino that is, turns the servo motor on, which looses this ring and five kilograms of wheel weights in a bag descend upon the rat, converting it into a noisy beer mat. One moment, I'll power it up and show you. Oh, um, before I do that, uh, don't be tempted to add spikes to the bottom of the board if you're of a violent mind, and it doesn't help. That flat board will do the job quite nicely. And try not to use more than five kilos of wheel weights or you need to scrape that. Okay, let's power it up. I recommend powering it from a decent power supply, though uh, I'm just powering it from my phone bank at the moment. Uh, here is the little Arduino. I have here a uh, indicator light so I can see when it's gone off. Um, this is connected to the little hobby servo there and these wires are connected to the industrial infrared sensor here. Here we go, it's all powered up. You notice it hasn't collapsed when I powered it up. Excellent. Okay, so here comes Ratty triggers the proximity sensor and its aspect ratio gets altered. One of the beauties of this design is that the uh, sticks that prop everything up um, are thrown away from the trap when the trap triggers to make, and that makes sure that the board falls straight down. Um, it's also worth pointing out that this trap being much easier to set in a survival situation um, means that you are less likely to injure yourself, which, particularly for me, uh, is an important factor. To set the trap, which I will try and do without getting in the way of the camera too much, I take um, this stick here, which has a slight notch in the bottom end, and there goes the stick. Alright, make sure these nails haven't got bent. Put this notch here on this piece of plywood, uh, that must be directly in line with the servo to ensure a smooth release, otherwise the whole thing tilts sideways and the trap doesn't work. Okay, here we have a flat piece on the stick and that hooks in under there. There's also a notch in the other side and that goes on there. Uh, we now need to reset the trap mechanism. The servo obligingly falls into the right place. That ring goes on there and we set that up so that it's nice and solid. Should, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't wiggle or anything once you've got it set there. And we put the great big weight on top like that. Just to um, demonstrate how this works, we will have the part of Rattus Norvegicus uh, played by this beer can here. In comes Ratty, squeak, 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 there. And as you can see, 
that's going to do a wrap. Well, I hope that's been a useful and instructive Geeko farm for you. Um, I can't say it's been great fun, but at least it gets the job done. But for now, that's your lot. Down on the Geeko farm. There we go.